My name is Amelia and um, this is my favorite Jet. Two days ago I woke up and Jet was really, really hot and I thought he had a fever and he started being really sneezy and now he's having trouble breathing. I think he's got the flu but I'm not sure. I'm going to see Dr. Breyer and hopefully she could tell me what's going on. I think he has the flu. I had the flu. My boyfriend had the flu. My okay. other ferret was starting to be really sneezy. There isn't a lot of diseases that we can easily transmit either from ourselves to our pets or vice versa. Ferrets and human influenza are one of the ones that definitely can affect both species. I think you're right to be worried. Yeah. He's really not breathing very well. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take him back and get him into some oxygen, and then maybe you and I can talk a little bit more about his history, but I don't like the way he's breathing in here. Are you comfortable with that? Yeah. OK, just I'm just going to take him with me. Come here, little guy. Hi, Chetty. I'll be right back, OK? okay. Uh, he is what we would call very dyspneic. He has both an increased respiratory rate and effort. So when we got him in, the first thing we did was just get him into oxygen. I'm concerned because he's having a really hard time breathing. I'm sorry about that. He can rest in auction while we do Is a little he okay? bit of history. He's not great. He's how old? He's five years old. Okay. He was diagnosed with asthma okay. and also chronic pneumonia. Pneumonia is serious and he is a five-year-old parent. What I would like to do is first off get some chest x-rays, yeah. see what his lungs look like, get him on some antibiotics. I just hope he's going to be okay. I hope so too. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Breyer. We'll talk to you in a few hours, okay? okay. We'll do our best. Jet's owner heads home and awaits news from Dr. Breyer. Dr. Breyer is about to have a closer look at Jet the ferret to determine a course of action. Do you have your flu shot? I do. Excellent. Because it is contagious between them and us. Yeah. So let's give him a little bit of auction while we do this. Okay. Similar to how you would treat a person in that um, a lot of it is what we call supportive care. Um, we do a procedure called coupaging, which is where you gently tap on either side of the body wall in order to try and loosen up that mucusy stuff that's living down in their lungs, give him the chance to be able to cough it up. We have uh, started him on nebulizations, humidified air for him to breathe in, and we have started him on antibiotic therapy. All done. You're a very good little guy. Good boy, now you get a treat. Oh, good job. Okay. All right, little devil, let's get you back in here. There you go, little buddy. Get some sleep. 